Want to know the best places to get a cup of joe in the Star City? Stay tuned to find out. everybody, it's Hal Cohn. And Chris Cohn, and together we're with Cohn Realty Group. If this is your first time to our channel, 100th time to our channel, even your thousandth time to our channel, and you haven't hit that subscribe button, do yourself a favor and do that now, as well as that bell icon, so you're notified each and every time we release a new video about living, working, and playing in the what? Um, Amazing Roanoke Valley. <laughs> It is pretty incredible. We have folks constantly contacting us saying they want to move to or within Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, or the surrounding areas. So if that's you, your friends, or your family, please reach out to us. We would love to have a conversation with you, see how we can help and answer any questions you may have. You can email us, text us, or call us. Hey, good morning. We are on location today at Chris's Coffee and Custard here in the Roanoke Valley, here yes. in Roanoke. And why are we here? Because whenever you're traveling, or even if you live here in the morning, people want a fresh cup of joe. Yes. Or in the afternoons after you've done some hiking, mm -hmm. you want something nice and cool like some custard on your palate to or cool you down. Or things like that. You know, coffee shops have become more than just a place to get a cup of joe and run mm -hmm. out the door. Right. They're meeting spots, they're gathering spots for the community. I mean, we have tons of meetings at coffee shops, so we should know about that's coffee right. shops, right? But there are so many here in Roanoke to choose from, and that's what we're going to bring you today, is just some of the top coffee shops here. And what's your favorite coffee or beverage of choice in the morning? Well, I got turned on to last September, <laughs> Americanos. Uh, oh. It's espresso with some hot water and... Your gold is a lot smoother than just a traditional coffee. Doesn't give you quite that uh, that acidic burn oh, in your belly. That's interesting. Yeah. And then mine is a little more complicated. It depends on my mood and the weather and the season and <laughs> and all of that. But usually I go for a decaf. Are you writing this down? Decaf soy latte with one pump. Of some flavor uh, some that's sweetener. not too sweet. Yes. So like gingerbread is one of my favorites. Or toffee nut. Pumpkin spice latte. I did. I'm celebrating fall. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. But today my mood she and the and the weather. Broke it in. Yep. Feels like fall, y'all. So join us as we take you a tour around some of our favorite coffee shops in the Roanoke Valley. Okay, so Brief introduction, now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty for you and yes. talk about these awesome coffee shops that you're gonna have at your fingertips. If you're living here or you're visiting here, you're moving here, you're gonna be able to get that cup of joe or meeting space that you want. And so the first place we're gonna talk about is where we're on location today, at Chris's Coffee and Custard here in Southeast Roanoke. Yeah, I love this space, not only for the coffee and the custard, which is a great combination, by the way, they even have a drink that combines the two. Yes, please. <laughs> I will come back for that. But you have to check out this Selfachino. Oh my goodness. You'll see a clip of that. All right, so apparently there's something called a selfie chino where you can upload a picture from your phone and it will print on your latte. But I'm gonna try this out. Scan a little barcode, upload a picture from my photo library. This is super easy. I'll pick a picture from 4th of July. I like that one. How do you like that one, Hal? Is that good? Looks great to me. Get it nice and close, they said. And look, Barrett is and our barista, and he, oh, he said it's over there on the machine. And um, our picture turned out pretty snazzy, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Yeah. I would so, agree. <laughs> what I do love about Chris's Coffee and Custard is not only is it a coffee shop, but they are providing opportunities for young adults with intellectual, physical, or developmental disabilities. And their goal is to empower and enhance their lives. So hey. what a great mission. And where Absolutely. did the name Chris come from? Do you know who that's named after? Well, actually I do. Okay, tell <laughs> us about it. So Chris is Beth and Alan's son. He has Down syndrome. So Chris this is actually bridging the gap between the community and people with disabilities. I love that. I think that's a fantastic mission. So let's dive down to the coffee. We talked about the Suffocinos, mm -hmm. but you're going to find a full range of coffee options to suit your preferences. And you can even buy it by the bag too, oh, remember? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, 
I said, remember? He said, I did not know that. <laughs> so, no, you must not remember. I don't remember. But I do remember that they get it from Skyview Coffee Roasters down in Monita. Okay. And they actually worked with them to come up with their own Chris's blend of coffee beans wow. that they have roasted there, brought here, and you can buy the bag. But anyway, so you can, you can get your, uh, your fresh, locally roasted coffee here at Chris's. Love it. There. Okay. So <laughs> let's transition over to custard because like we said, coffee shops are not just for the morning time anymore. You see people all the time coming in and out and just really loving the experience. And the custard here is vanilla and chocolate mm -hmm. and they're made fresh daily. So I like that. It's made right here on house. And right behind me are the homemade waffle cones. If I'm gonna oh, get right, ice cream, right, 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 there, right there. there we go. If I'm gonna get ice cream, y'all, I am going to splurge and get a waffle cone. And these are homemade, and you should see all the toppings and and um, goodies. The fixins. The fixins. The fixins for. <laughs> and they have this signature thing of milkshakes, but also uh, custard in between two cookies. So that was that's a decadent treat. I like it that is. idea a lot. It's a um, a whoopie pie. A whoopie pie. It's from like Maine. a whoopie That's pie right. from Maine, but it's with custard in between two cookies. Yeah. Hey, can it? Can you come with me on a trip real quick? Sure. I oh, wanna. You know, we Are talked we about. A rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> See me through the sky. Um, those of you with kids will get that. So not only do they have amazing coffee and custard and decor, like we talked about. But they have a fantastic meeting space. This was how I was first introduced to Chris's Coffee and Custard, is because we had a, a business meeting here. Oh, you can tell. They had an FCA meeting here. Yeah, a Fellowship of Christian Athletes meeting here. And it was really a beautiful space. Could you imagine um, having hosting your meeting room here? And I had chicken salad. And the chicken salad was so good, but just an excellent place to really host a meeting, have a group of friends get together, whatever the need is, you're gonna find it all right here at Chris's Coffee and Custard. Okay, Okay, I'm gonna be short and sweet. So, so let's talk about not just a coffee shop, but let's talk about a coffee lounge Ooh. here in the Roanoke Valley. And that's okay. gonna be R&D Coffee in Wasina right on Main Street. Okay, so slow down because your Southern accent, which I adore, is a little fast. So R-N-D. Oh, there you go, yeah. Okay, so is that, I think that stands for Roasters, Roasters Next Door. Okay, Roasters yeah. Next Door. Yeah, so, and, so those of you who are coffee connoisseurs, mm -hmm. it's all about the right roast, is my understanding. You know, I'm just doing good to get my Americano. I feel like I'm fancy now. <laughs> I know, you are fancy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at R&D, you know, they are connoisseurs themselves. They want you to have that same type of experience at R&D. And they actually have a YouTube channel as also that allows them to impart that knowledge to you. Yeah, so they have, the owner has a YouTube channel, Cafe with Q. And it is a really fun blend of how to make treats and sweets and, and drinks, but also just hearing him talk and his humor that he interjects throughout the presentation is really fun. So of course, us YouTubers have to stick together. So right. I applaud his efforts on that. But they have individual bagged coffee here at R&D that you can take home with you. They ship it and they also have subscription too. What a great way to break free from grocery store chain um, coffee and get a premier cup of coffee every single morning in the comfort of your own home. So I love that very much. But this is a fan, I mean, it's a pretty, uh, you know, it's interesting from the outside and the inside, it's very welcoming. It's not um, standoffish, I guess, but they know their coffee. I they mean, do. there's some fancy stuff I don't even know about. I don't even know how to pronounce. And, and they will take their time to actually help you understand what's gonna be best for you to drink right. and to have the, the quintessential experience right. of coffee. So you can do pour overs, you can mm -hmm. do French, French press, uh, you know, you've got your traditional espressos, Americanos, those types of things. But they always have something that is definitely got a twist to it. And one yeah. of the things they have that I have never heard of before, but we kind of talked about it, is the affogato. affogato. Did I pronounce that correctly? It sounds like Mr. Roboto. Affogato. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a blend of espresso and then I so hot espresso, espresso and ice cold vanilla ice cream. 
delish. And not to mention they have canned nitro brew. So again, that's something I am completely unfamiliar with, but you coffee aficionados, maybe that's your jam. So if it is, head down to R&D, you'll love it. All right, so let's talk about Bill Mountain Coffee and Tea. There's multiple locations throughout the valley. So no matter what area of town you're in, or if you're in Blacksburg, you're gonna have easy access to one of these local coffee shops, Mill Mountain Coffee and Tea. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a lot of meetings there. Like you said, they're just really, um, prominent throughout the valley and they're easy to access. Mm -hmm. They're usually really large in their space on the inside, so perfect place for gathering and, and meetings and such, meeting girlfriends. You'll also always see like clubs and formal informal get-togethers there too. So this is what I love about doing these videos because I'm from here, from Roanoke originally, but I still learn things and I just love doing the research for it because I didn't realize Mill Mountain Coffee originated from, in 1990 and the founder was a Virginia Tech alumni who decided to move back to the Roanoke area from Washington State because he saw a void in this area of coffee shops and I'm so glad he did because they certainly filled that void. Yeah, so the founder saw a need on the East Coast for these types of venues and spots for coffee. And with that, you know, they roast coffee locally and they ship it globally. So, yeah, and even you, and in their stores, yeah, I mean, you can smell the roasting. Yeah, especially in Salem. It's a little smaller <laughs> venue. You come in that back door and ooh, you can smell it. Oh, what are they roasting today? It smells right. great. And then they're like, oh, you're getting a pound today. Here you go. Yes, and just really friendly. I love seeing all the coffee beans on the walls, too. That's really neat. You know, when I was in high school, we would go to Mill Mountain Coffee downtown, and that was the cool place to be. I mean, they had live music and this really uh, fun coffee shop that had this vibe that I don't think Roanoke had ever really seen. Well, I was gonna say, that would have been young. Yes. Young in its, uh, in its uh, infancy, infancy kind of. of its existence, yes. Right, and it was just, I loved Mill Mountain Coffee coming to town and I just thought it was, it was a cool place to be and it's still the cool place today. Another reason people love Mill Mountain Coffee and tea so much is because you can get breakfast and lunch items there. So that's why it's so popular with locals and for meetings and that type of thing. And for studying, we have to see Rona College kids there yes. all the time. If you're looking, if you're looking for his for history along with your coffee and a cozy, cozy atmosphere, then you're going to check out Sweet Donkey in South Rona. Yeah, Sweet Donkey is really a community gathering spot. You know, we said that earlier about coffee shops. They have that power. This one is really exceeding on that level. The house is built, where Sweet Donkey is, is actually in a house built in 1922. So you can cuddle up in one of those rooms and enjoy, enjoy hanging out with your friends and catching up over coffee. Or you can enjoy your coffee and smoothies on the front porch. Front porch. Yeah. The or, front yard. And the front lawn. Yeah. How cool is that? I love that. I think Sweet Donkey has a lot of variety and really exotic flavors too. The blends, mm -hmm. I really, really enjoy them. They've um, partnered with Counter Culture Coffee and that is said to be bring some of the most exciting and delicious coffees in the world. Yeah, and I haven't heard of that before. I so for either. those of you who are into that, there's your spot. That's right. <laughs> some of the specialty drinks include things like an orange silk latte, my favorite is turmeric. Wait for it. Turmeric ginger latte. That sounded so bizarre when I first had it. And I tell you what, it is amazing. It'll knock your socks off. The turmeric flavor and then the ginger spice and bite is like, hello, wake up. This is an amazing cup of coffee. So I love, I love the lattes. Yes. And let's not forget, they're not just, they don't just have coffee. It's also a family and community gathering spot, right? <laughs> so, you know, from April to November, they've yeah. got like food trucks, they've got live music, they've got beer on hand outside. And so you'll, when you ride by there in the evenings, when you ride through there during that season, you're gonna see a whole lot of people out there just hanging out, having a good time and enjoying the atmosphere and uh, just the fellowship. And I'm telling you what, that's like the epitome of Southern hospitality, right? Just joining together, hanging out, Friday night, food trucks, beer, family, love it. 
Love that idea. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet Docky in South Runnock. This is so much fun bringing you guys all of the intel about the local coffee shops that mm -hmm. we've got. And I'm just amazed at how many we have. I know. I mean, I know, as great. when we were doing our research, when we got to this point, I was like, holy Toledo. And there's, and this isn't even all of them. No. They, these are like the top that, the ones that we could think of right offhand. And mm -hmm. we dug just a little bit and found a couple extras. But anyways, let's talk about one of our, another one of our favorites. And that would be Little Green Hive, which is woman owned and locally owned. Yes, and family operated. I like that a lot. There you go. And I can't dismiss the fact that I love the logo. It is just, it's beautiful. I think whoever designed it was uh, very talented. So check out that logo. But the beauty goes beyond just the logo. This is a great place to find not only coffee, but a great variety of loose leaf teas, smoothies, and raw juices. There aren't a lot of places that offer those raw juices. I used to do juicing and I love the flavor. I love all the benefits to it. The nutrients. Right, absolutely. So great juice variety. I'm like salivating as I talk about that, but what's one of your favorite smoothies from here? Well, I just, I just thought of something else. They have like uh, the power bowls too. So they've got like oh, pro true. protein bowls and they've also got like the protein power smoothie, which I like because it's mm -hmm. got uh, some peanut butter, some almond milk. So it's a really great supplement after you've worked out. It's got some uh, cinnamon in it. Right. So, uh, and oats and too. And oats if you get the one. That's the one that you like and I forget the name yeah. of that one. Uh, maybe paleo, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure, Sure, but it's delicious. They have a, a large variety. There's three locations in the Roanoke Valley, downtown Roanoke, Grandin Village, and also Daleville Town Center. So I like that they're spread out too. You can get on one um, pretty much pretty quickly, no matter where you're staying in the valley. So is that what you want in Salem? Yes, we could have one in Salem. Great idea. We'll have to pitch that. <laughs> Locally roasted fair trade organic coffee from Red Rooster. And Floyd, right here up the mountain. So I love that they offer that. That's gonna bring the quality of the coffee up significantly. And you can buy that bagged coffee from Red Rooster right there in the shop too, which makes excellent gifts, by the way. A lot of people love Red Rooster coffee. So check that out. Another perk to going to Little Green Hive. We call this meeting about coffee to order. <laughs> I think you had too much caffeine. <laughs> or I'm just delirious from the week. But anyways, right. we are trying our best to bring y'all some value today talking about coffee shops that are locally owned and operated here in the Roanoke Valley. Mm -hmm. But we want to tell you about one out towards the Botetourt County line. It's still in Roanoke County, and that is called One Love Coffee. House. House. <laughs> and we haven't been there. We haven't been there. Yeah, but We've a been client... by it a couple of times. Right. And a client told us about uh, One Love Coffee House, and we said, hey, we should include it and feature it on this week's episode. So it's worth mentioning because upon review of their Facebook page, it seems like they have a large variety of drinks and baked goods. But one thing that I noticed is that they have like employee specials or employee um, flavors of the month, I would say. And some like of, it to be creative. Yeah, I know, em empowering a little bit. But I really like some of the flavors. They sounded like dessert options, like apple crumble, Nutella mocha, yum, butter beer, butter beer, I'm not sure what and that is. um, and a few others. I was like, oh wow, I could go there. That would be a nice evening or afternoon meeting. So that'd be an afternoon yeah. spot because because you, otherwise be you'll nice. crash and burn from that sweetness. <laughs> I guarantee it. And then. <laughs> Right now at the time of this filming, it is, we're heading into fall, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love how coffee shops really tailor their menu seasonally. So we're thinking right now, all things pumpkin. I saw a post about their baked goods and I have to read some of these off. Let me get my paper. Um, pumpkin cream cheese muffins, yes. Pumpkin chocolate muffins, yes please. Pumpkin cinnamon rolls, what? Um, yes, that would be, I would just eat each one with a pumpkin spice latte. And it's only because it has pumpkin in it because you are not a sweets person. No, I'm not a sweet person. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, that came out wrong. Am I not sweet or just don't like sweets? You don't like sweets. That's what I was getting at. But I like the location of this area too. You want to talk about location being in Roanoke County and that in that area yeah the area that it's in it, it serves a uh, a need there because mm -hmm. there's not a ton of restaurants right there in that specific 
vicinity close to Cloverdale. So, but it's right next to Top Dog, which is a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then right next to that is the Carillion Wellness of Botetai County. Right. So uh, it's, it's in an area where you don't have any other shops, coffee shops, especially close by. So it definitely meets a need and provides some awesome uh, flavors and uh, coffee for you. Well, I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go and get another one of those selfie chinos for somebody special. I think that would be such a good gift. To, could you imagine laying one of those selfie chinos on somebody's desk and saying, happy Friday, I was thinking of you, or I know you've been down. Here's a cappuccino with your beautiful face all over it. How sweet. There you go. How about it? What are you going to get? You gonna get some custard? Ooh, custard, <laughs> yes. Y'all watch the next video and thank you so much. Let us know if you have any questions.